All right, welcome to Starting Scripture, a reading of the Bible with Keturah. Today is day 199. We are reading in the second book of Chronicles 23 and Proverbs 10, verses 29 to 32. Second Chronicles 23. Revolt against Athaliah. In the seventh year of Athaliah's reign, Jehoiada, the priest, decided to act. He summoned his courage and made a pact with the five army commanders, Azariah, son of Jehoam, Ishmael, son of Jehohanan, Azariah, son of Obed, Maasiah, son of Adaiah, and Elshaphat, son of Zikri. These men traveled secretly throughout Judah and summoned the Levites and clan leaders in all the towns to come to Jerusalem. They all gathered at the temple of God, where they made a solemn pact with Joash, the young king. Jehoiada said to them, Here is the king's son. The time has come for him to reign. The Lord has promised that a descendant of David will be our king. This is what you must do. When you priests and Levites come on duty on the Sabbath, a third of you will serve as gatekeepers. Another third will go over to the royal palace, and the final third will be at the foundation gate. Everyone else should stay in the courtyards of the Lord's temple. Remember, only the priests and Levites on duty may enter the temple of the Lord, for they are set apart as holy. The rest of the people must obey the Lord's instructions and stay outside. You Levites form a bodyguard around the king and keep your weapons in hand. Kill anyone who tries to enter the temple. Stay with the king wherever he goes. So the Levites and all the people of Judah did everything as Jehoiada, the priest, ordered. The commanders took charge of the men reporting for duty that Sabbath, as well as those who were going off duty. Jehoiada, the priest, did not let anyone go home after their shift ended. Then Jehoiada supplied the commanders with the spears and the large and small shields that had once belonged to King David and were stored in the temple of God. He stationed all the people around the king with their weapons ready. They formed a line from the south side of the temple around to the north side and all around the altar. Then Jehoiada and his sons brought out Joash, the king's son, placed the crown on his head, and presented him with a copy of God's laws. They anointed him and proclaimed him king, and everyone shouted, Long live the king. The death of Athaliah. When Athaliah heard the noise of the people running and the shouts of praise to the king, she hurried to the Lord's temple to see what was happening. When she arrived, she saw the newly crowned king standing in his place of authority by the pillar at the temple entrance. The commanders and trumpeters were surrounding him, and people from all over the land were rejoicing and blowing trumpets. Singers with musical instruments were leading the people in a great celebration. When Athaliah saw this, saw all this, she tore her clothes in despair and shouted, Treason! Treason! Then Jehoiada the priest ordered the commanders who were in charge of the troops, Take her to the soldiers in front of the temple, and kill anyone who tries to rescue her. For the priest had said, she must not be killed in the temple of the Lord. So they seized her and led her out to the entrance of the horse gate on the palace grounds, and they killed her there. Jehoiada's Religious Reforms Then Jehoiada made a covenant between himself and the king and the people that they would be the Lord's people. And all the people went over to the temple of Baal and tore it down. They demolished the altars and smashed the idols, and they killed Meta. Betatan, the priest of Baal, in front of the altars. Jehoiada now put the priests and Levites in charge of the temple of the Lord, following all the directions given by David. He also commanded them to present burnt offerings to the Lord, as prescribed by the law of Moses, and to sing and rejoice as David had instructed. He also stationed gatekeepers at the gates of the Lord's temple to keep out those who, for any reason, were ceremonially unclean. Then the commanders, nobles, rulers, and all the people of the land escorted the king from the temple of the Lord. They went through the upper gate and into the palace, and they seated the king on the royal throne. So all the people of the land rejoiced, and the city was peaceful because Athaliah had been killed. Proverbs 10, verses 29 to 32. The way of the Lord is a stronghold to those with integrity, but it destroys the wicked. The godly will never be disturbed, but the wicked will be removed from the land. The mouth of the godly person gives wise advice, but the tongue that deceives will be cut off. 
The lips of the godly speak helpful words, but the mouth of the wicked speaks perverse words. And now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Dear Lord, direct our path this day through your Holy Spirit. Your daughter, your servant, is listening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.